certifications can be a buzzword and a checkbox, mm. right? Like, oh yeah, I got these certifications. Now companies will look to see if you have these certifications because it is a standard, right? Mm -hmm. It's a standard to say, if you've gotten the certification, I don't need to train you in this space. I don't need to handhold you in this space. As a matter of fact, you're coming into our organization and you should be taking us to the next level because you have received that certification, right? So the danger in some aspects is a lot of people use certifications as a checkbox. They have a, uh, they've got that piece of paper, but they do not have the competency behind it. They do not have the skill set to support it, which the skills, again, I'm going back to skills. That's, again, those actually, those two things should be hand in hand. So if I've got a certification on one end, I should have the skill set to support that and corroborate mm -hmm. with that. A lot of people that are transferring into new spaces will have the certification and not the skill set, and then it's a deficit for the company, mm -hmm. um, unless that comes up in the conversation, right? So for those people that are like, Trish, I don't have the skill, I don't have the skill set, but I want to get the skill set. Well, that's a, that's part of your communication in your interview, right? Like, I have that's a development area, not a weakness. Mm -mm. We don't say the W word. That is a del a development area that I can close that gap in. And um, if there's a buddy system, I could work with somebody. I am working with somebody externally. I have a coach. You know, so there's ways for you to supplement that gap. But I, I really want to make sure I, I paint a clear picture of how do certifications work in today's world? Um, what are the benefits and what are some of the, the you know, red alerts that we should be keeping in mind with that?